With the development of the automobile society, people have higher and higher requirements for safety and driving comfort. Only professional for wheel alignment can meet people's general needs for driving feeling. Regular for wheel alignment of vehicles can not only ensure the safety and comfort requirements of driving and also can effectively extend the service life of tires. What this video brings to you is the standard process of for wheel alignment operation. According to the phenomenon described by the customer, identify the vehicle failure and recommend the customer to do for wheel alignment as needed. Before the vehicle enters the operating station, turn on the 3D aligner and make the software is in the state of the operation interface. Operate the lift to ensure it is working well and ensure that the turn plate and the lift sliding board are working normally and the locking pin is in the lock D state. The operator stands on the right front of the lift and instructs the driver to safely drive the car onto the lift. According to the wheelbase of the vehicle, adjust the position of the turn plate. Remind the customer to put the gearbox in the neutral position, open the trunk. Put the wedge block on the left rear wheel of the vehicle and ask the customer to get off the car, check that the rear seats and trunk of the vehicle are in a standard state. The car forward so that the front wheel is exactly pressed on the center of the turn plate and place the wedge block. Put on the protective cover to protect the operating area of the cab. Input customer information and vehicle information. Complete information will help us provide better services to customers. According to the software prompts and the tire pressure recommended by the car manufacturer, adjust the tire pressure to the standard value and check the air tightness of the valve. Use a tire tread ruler or tire pattern detector to measure and record the degree of tire wear in sequence. Detect whether the tire has abnormal wear and notify the customer. Adjust the length of the center lifting platforms of the lift, let the safety support position of the vehicle to attach the platforms very well. Place the rubber support blocks directly under the safety support point of the vehicle, and check whether the lift area is safe. When the vehicle is lifted, check whether it is reliably supported. After it is lifted to a suitable position, lock the lift. Rotate the tires and check the tires comprehensively. Enter the tire pressure, pattern depth and wear status into the software according to the software prompts. After the vehicle is lifted to a suitable height and brake locked, use the special tool, play detector for checking the clearance of the chassis. Check the clearance of the connecting parts of the chassis in turn, and make a record.
Operators can also use methods such as tapping and shaking the chassis connection parts to check the condition of the car's chassis. Some poor chassis parts will affect the wheel alignment result and also affect the safety of customers during driving. When the lift is lowering, always pay attention to the conditions of the lift and make sure the surrounding area is safe. After the vehicle is completely lowered, the stretch suspension components can be returned to the running state through pressing the vehicle body. During the pressing process, we can also check whether the chassis suspension is in good condition and enter the inspection results into the software. When selecting a model, the operator can search for the standard data of the vehicle by the initials of the brand of the vehicle or search for the model in the search bar by the model name of the vehicle. According to the software instructions, assemble target plate clamps. Before assembling, adjust the clamp pin's position according to the rim size of the vehicle and place the pins to a proper position to avoid rim damaging. Turn and lock the torque handle of the clamp. After locking, check whether the clamp is installed securely. Follow the software to operate the vehicle compensation measurement procedure. Adjust the steering wheel to even out the gap of the steering system by shaking it from side to side. This helps to adjust the steering wheel at one time. After ensuring that the steering wheel is aligned, use the steering wheel holder to fix the steering wheel. Move the wheel stopper of the left rear wheel 15 to 20 mm back. During the movement, place the wheel stopper always on the wheel running track. Follow the software and push the vehicle backward, and push the vehicle forward steadily to finish the measurement process. During this measurement process, ensure that the lift sliding plate and the turning plate are always locked then stop the wheels with wheel stoppers. Follow up the instruction of software, execute the caster and KPI measurement program, take out the transition block of turntable, remove the locking pin of turntable, Remove the steering wheel holder, install the brake holder, brake, the four wheels at the same time, which will improve the machine. NT accuracy. According to the prompts, turn the steering wheel to the left at a constant speed, and let the computer to record the required measurement angle data. Turning the steering wheel by 10 degrees to the left and right is for the caster and KPI measurement, and 20 degrees to the left and right is for the tow out on turn measurement. We can also turn the steering wheel to the maximum state to measure the maximum steering angle. The software prompts that one side of the target board is blocked when measuring, which does not affect the measurement accuracy. Turn the steering wheel to the right according to the software prompts, and measure the kinkin, 
toe out on turn and maximum steering angle in turn, and finally turn the steering wheel to the left to centering it. Please pay attention to the centering method of the steering wheel. Only through the complete angle measurement process, we will get more vehicle measurement data. Make the preparations before performing the adjustment procedure. Ensure that slide plate and turntable of the lift are in a free state. Remove the brake holder, and install the steering wheel holder. Save and analyze the measurement results, and inform the customer, and check whether the measurement results are consistent with the vehicle symptoms proposed by the customer. When the measurement results exceed the range allowed by the car manufacturer, the customer will determine the parameter adjustment. When the parameter deviation is large, but cannot be adjusted, we can also keep some adjustment accessories, and will promptly replace them for the vehicles, and adjust the corresponding parameters to the standard range allowed by the car manufacturer. Please note that the adjustment sequence is to adjust the rear axle first and then the front axle. Adjust the camber first, and then the toe. After adjusting all the parameters, Please check that all the bolts have been tightened. According to the field conditions, we can carry out the second run-out measurement of the vehicle and drop the lift. In process of lowering down the lift, please pay attention to whether the lift and its surroundings are safe. Remove the clamps from the wheels, and place the transition rubber blocks in the original position. Move the security wedge block to a farther position on the lift platform, push the vehicle backwards to drive the front wheels away from the position of the turntable, install the locking pins of the turntable. Please pay attention, before the second time run out measurement, pushing the vehicle backwards and forwards can better balance the gaps between the connecting parts of the car chassis which is more conducive to the effect of the secondary run-out measurement, reaching the best driving state. Push the cart forward again so that the front wheel of the vehicle is exactly at the center of the turntable, and place the security wedge blocks. According to the software prompt, repeat the above measurement process, and install the clamps to the wheels in turn.
before run-out process, please straight the steering wheel, and lock it with the steering wheel holder. After the measurement, check whether the measurement value is within the standard range allowed by the car factory. If there are parameters beyond the range, please adjust the vehicle again, record and print the adjustment results finally. Remove all clamps on all wheels, place them in the reserve position of the equipment. Lower the lift to the ground, put the transition rubber block, and place the security wedge blocks at a farther position from the lift, pushing backwards to make the front wheels of the vehicle drive, away from the turntable which can better protect the turntable and fixing the security wedge block. Open the door, remove the steering wheel holder, and place it at the designated position of the equipment. Remove the for peace vehicle protection, remove the security wedge blocks. Guide the customer driving away from the platform and testing the car. Finally confirm if the symptoms described by the customer have been eliminated. After sharing the alignment report with the customer, the next alignment inspection time will be arranged in schedule. Please install the lock pins of front turntable and rear slide plate, clean the alignment workstation. Then the alignment process is finished completely.